back in here about to do her kitchen thing. Booby, stay tuned. Diva about to make a box cake just for you. Just for you. Just for you. Diva about to make a box cake just for you. All right, y'all. Stay tuned. We about to go ahead on and get into this awesome video. Y'all ready? I'm ready. So, I have here the Duncan Hines Perfectly Moist Box Cake Mix. So, all we're going to need, actually, we're going to need right here the ingredients I'm going to use. I have one stick of butter melted, one third cup of vegetable oil, one cup of water, and four eggs. All right. So, here everything we're going to use. And we have our box cake mix. And we have our frosting. That's what we're going to use last. All right? Okay, let's get into the box. Let's go ahead and open up our box. Open up our box. Let's get rid of this. I need to bring scissors when I do my videos. For sure. For sure. Okay, let's plain and simple. You got to use what you got till you get what you need. Right? You get what you use what you got to you get what you want. Right? Not what you need, what you want. Alright, so we have our cake mix right here. Let's go ahead and get out some of the clumps. Just whisk out a few of the clumps, the large clumps. Alrighty. Next. We're going to go ahead on and add our melted butter. One third of vegetable oil. One cup of water. And four eggs. Oh. Bingo, no shells. Hey, I did that. <laughs> no shells. Who's there? No shells. <laughs> That's it. Nice. So, you see how plain and simple and easy all of that was? We used, so we added all of our ingredients to our, our um, box cake mix. Next, we're going to go ahead on and blend up all the ingredients well. Blend it up. baking pans for the oven. So what I'm going to do is use this paper towel and dip it in some Crisco right here and just grease it around the pan. All the way around the pan. Make sure I get a nice even coat in the pan with the Crisco. Sides and bottom and all. Okay, that's pan number one. It's all nice and greased. With the Crisco, pan number two. All greased up, sides and bottom with the Crisco. Next, I'm gonna take some flour and sprinkle some flour in my pan. Flowers coating the sides and the bottom 
of the pan. I just go all the way around the pan. That's why I put the paper towel down, just in case some of the um, flour will come out of the pan. But that's okay. Okay, now I have the sides and bottom of cake pan number one done. Let me move on to cake pan number two. Just put it right here. Get all of the um, flour out of the off the sides. You, know, you see a build up of flour on the sides. You don't need that much flour. You just want to pretty much lightly coat the pan with flour. Just tapping it, tapping it. To make sure I get up, get all of the excessive build up of flour out my pan. Sorry about the extra noise. The kids are enjoying their summer vacation with, of course, a game of Fortnite. Now, I can go ahead on and shake the extra flour into the paper towel. Cake pans are ready. We can go ahead on. Let's move this paper towel and start adding our batter to the pan. <laughs> Alright, sit right there, box. Let's go ahead on and add our batter to our cake pans. Ooh, this cake is gonna be so good, y'all. Orange cake. Don't get her. That's my preference. I love Dunkin' Hines cake mix. It just seems like it just hit. Okay, so we have our cake batter in the pan and they are ready to be placed in the oven. And I will be back once they are finished baking up in the oven. So stay tuned. All right, the cakes are out the oven. They've been sitting for maybe two to three hours. And those holes right there, if you've been following my channel long enough, you know I do the fork test on everything so if the fork goes in comes out clean the cake is done so the next step will be to go ahead on and um, apply icing to my cakes and if you're new here thanks for watching my video and if you like the content on my video on my channel please subscribe to my channel go over and click that red bell turn it gray 